Six months after the angel Gabriel visited Zechariah, he is sent on another mission. This time, God is sending him to a poor little town in Galilee named Nazareth. In this city is a young woman named Mary who was engaged to a carpenter named Joseph. The angel appears before Mary and says, Hello, special lady, God is with you. However, Mary is very confused and scared by this stranger who was saying such odd things to her. But Gabriel says to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for God has favored you. You will have a baby boy and call his name Jesus. He will be great and be called the Son of God, and God will give him David's throne. He will rule over Israel forever, and his kingdom will never end. Mary is shocked by these words. She is not married, so how can she have a baby? She asks the angel an honest question. Sir, how can I have a baby? For I have kept myself pure. Gabriel responds, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of God will cover you, and the holy baby will be called the Son of God. Think about this. Even your cousin Elizabeth, who is very old, is going to have a baby. With God, nothing is impossible. Unlike Zachariah, Mary believes the angel and says, I am the Lord's servant. I believe you. After hearing this, Gabriel leaves. So, what can we learn today? Let's start with today's main proverb. Believe God's word like Mary. You see, Mary was a wise girl because she believed the angel. She trusted the messenger who brought her God's word. Remember how Zechariah questioned Gabriel because he doubted the word of God and wanted a sign? Unlike the old priest who doubted God's word, Mary asked Gabriel an honest question. The angel answered her question and said that God could do the impossible, and Mary believed God's word. The angel also told Mary what would happen in the future. Here's a spoiler alert. In Jesus' first coming, he would become a human and be born in Bethlehem, live a perfect life, give up his life on a cross for your sin, and be raised from the dead and have victory over death. The angel then jumped to Jesus' second coming. After the rapture, when God takes the church off the earth, and the tribulation, when God judges the wicked world, Jesus will return to earth and set up his kingdom and will rule over Israel and the world. The angel talked about Jesus' first and second comings. There is another question we need to answer, the virgin birth. Why did God pick Mary, who did not have a husband, to have a baby? We are told in the Bible that fathers pass down sin to all their children, so Jesus needed to be born without a sinful dad. The problem is that every human father has sin. So, God made a way for Mary to have a baby without having a human father. Thus, Jesus the Word, the Son of God, would be born perfect and without sin. Gabriel was right. Nothing was impossible for God. Mary understood this fact and she trusted God by putting her faith in His Word. But how about you? Do you trust in God's Word, the Bible? Are you like Mary who believed it, or are you like Zachariah who doubted? I challenge you to be like Mary. So, take today's main proverb, turn it into a question, and ask yourself, do I believe God's Word like Mary? As always, my videos, PowerPoints, curriculum, coloring pages, and worksheets are free. There should never be a price tag on teaching children the Word of God. Follow the link in the description below to download them. Use them to serve our God by training our children in the ways of the Lord.